So we're gonna be doing a install of a, a Fox a Grip 2 damper in a Fox 40. And here's um the tools are needed. So we got um well first the fork seal kit and I got the torque specs all listed in the video description. Um this is a oil filter. Toyota oil filter um, uh, wrench or uh, socket, whatever you want to call it, but I'll use it to um, soak the, the foam rings in there so you don't have to use a lot of oil. And then you got a, a 32 millimeter, um, the flap um, socket. It's like not um, radius or anything. Um, and this will work on the air side and the damper side of the um, I have a 2018 40 but when you put in the grip 2 it takes the 28 millimeter and then we got the Fox 40 seal driver this is the new one that guides itself in uh, slick oleum for the fork seals uh, 20 weight gold for the uh, this is for the air side and for the damper side we got the 5 weight uh, PTFE Fox fluid and 15 and 10 millimeter and then I'll use the 17 to take out the fork seals from the lowers and I use a crescent to grab onto the a low speed uh, compression adjuster when when you're taking it off with the allen so you can hold it with that instead of your fingers and just um inch pound torque wrench uh, foot pound torque wrench and ratchets and plastic hammer rags and drain pan and to put the fluid in the fork uh, i'm going to use the i got a TRP bleed kit and I'll just use their syringes to put the fluid in and as usual um, all of the companies in the US are sold out of the dampers so I went to this place in Australia called Site Clinic and they're really good uh, came in about a week and a half uh, through the post office and the price that that price there is actually in um, Australian dollars and it actually came out cheaper than in the US I know they retail for about uh, 430 uh, this thing came 416 shipped to Hawaii so it's a good deal but check them out they're really good and Jordy from Fox actually follows these guys on Instagram so and they got a full line of Fox products. Okay. So just a bit, actually, not like a singular. But like hanging up on stuff, like, or? I wouldn't on. say it was hanging up. Okay. It was more just trying to push me over the front of it. Okay. Let me grab my little notebook thing. Okay. And there it is. All the way from Australia. Okay, so we're doing uh, the Grip 2 install on my Fox 40 and we can start with um, taking off the top cap. And this is what I use the crescent for. I don't care about marring the finish. If you care about that, you can just like wrap it with electrical tape. This side should be a 32. Yep, 
so I'm not going to be re rebuilding the, the air chamber so you don't need to take out the air uh, just to do the damper so we can start by I'll take out the lowers Rebound knob off. And this should be 15. And on the other side should be a 10. take it all the way off because you gotta break it loose Slide the lower as well. Just like that. Okay. To take the seals out. It's a 17 millimeter. And just leverage it out. Side. Oh, these foam rings are dry. Let's do for our service. Break clean. And just blow it out. There we go. And before we forget, we should um, replace the travel o ring with a new one. The old one is still good, but um, slide the new one on. And an important step um, before you loosen the, the damper top cap is um, loosen the upper, the triple clamp bolt. Uh, if not, it's going to bind when you're trying to loosen the top cap. So make sure you loosen that before you... Um, try to remove the top cap and it's good to have the it when it's still on the bike you can use the handlebar for extra leverage to take out the or loosen the top cap just like that and just pull the old damper out And I just uh, spray out the the leg with some brake clean. And blow it out with air. And make sure you remove the red tape from the damper before you install it. And slide it in the fork.
and for the grip too you're going to be using a 28 millimeter socket And I don't speak in Newton meters, so it converts to 18 foot pounds. And put the top cap back on. And you just want to loop the uh, surface where the seal goes and the, the bushings with, um, I'm using uh, the 20 weight um, Fox fluid. And you want to just put a little bit of um, 20 weight oil on the installation tool where the, where the seal will ride in and slide it on. And you just, it's real easy. It's self-guiding. It'll go right in the bushing and you just tap it home. And that's it. And this is just the other side. This tool is really good, I like it. The older tool, it, it didn't have that um, guide for the bushing. This one is super simple. It guides itself right in. And you just wanna use a little slick oleum on the uh, fork seals before you slide it in. just install the foam rings that um, I had soaking in oil you want to make sure they're soaked in oil before you install them and make sure they go in there um, nice and straight and don't get twisted and then you just slide the fork legs home you might have to it's kind of easier if you go in at an angle and just slide it in. Make sure it slides good. Sometimes if you get the the foam ring uh, caught or twisted, it'll bind and it won't be smooth. That happened to me before. So just double check that <laughs> before you button it up. And now we're going to add the, the PTFE five weight to the damper side. And it takes um, 50 cc's or 50 um, milliliters. It's, it's the same. And I had to flip the bike upside down. And now on the, the air side, um, I'm using um, 35 cc's or 35 milliliters of um, the Fox 20 weight gold fluid and this um, syringe is actually only a 25 milliliter syringe so I had to do it a couple times and put the foot nuts back on and both of the lower nuts are 50 inch pounds And you put the rebound adjuster back on. You just need to find the flat on the, the shaft that sticks out. And then um, that's uh, that flat is where you tighten the, the Allen on. And that secures it.
and you just want to make sure the adjuster the boat high and low speed they work click smoothly and you're pretty much done just put the cap back on don't forget forget to retighten the top triple clamp uh, 65 inch pounds for that one for actually all the triple clamp uh, bolts And you want to just kind of wipe all the oil and grease off um, before you ride it. 